Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're at the Psychic Club because playing the Challenge Cup made me remember something. I forgot two more duelists over here that unlock. <laughs> uh, there's Robert and Daniel over on these sides here. And well, I battled Robert, which I think is over here, yeah, uh, during the cup. But I, th I, th at the time, I thought I battled him before, so I just kind of jammed through his duel. <laughs> so let's give him a real deal um, stall duel so we can see his deck for realsies, shall we? While you are gone, I've collected a bunch of cards. If possible, would you have a battle with me? No, that's too bad. But if you don't want to now, please duel me later. As a matter of fact, I wanted to say no because... I'm gonna switch it to a different deck because I'm just gonna probably destroy him with the stop it deck, so let's <laughs> beat him with that before, so if it's alright, I'd like you to have a battle with me. Yeah! Please set aside four prize cards. Let's go, Phantom Deck! So here we go. I'm gonna try and take it slow so that he can kinda show off his deck to his fullest potential, I guess you could say. So, <laughs> let's set out those two as such, and we flip, and I go first. And another attack. Uh, well, it's alright, I guess, for the sake of beatdown, but... I don't know if I'm, I can really get by with just a bunch of Rattatas, you know, I'm just... I mean, I, they're, they're nice for the early game, but later on, it could be a little bit on the difficult side. Especially if Rattata here won't wake up from its nap. Because it's going to be all a pound on the next turn, because I'm not... Uh-oh, because I'm not really using the energy removal in this deck, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's the one energy removal. But now that I got Venomoth, might as well do that. And I'll plop a backup Rattata on the bench. And it's still sleepy sleepy. So it's gonna be pounded, probably. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh! oh wait. I, I thought well, I got I, I guess come to think of it, that maybe it was a bad idea. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, it wasn't able to do any sort of attacks, so... Now it can only just kind of lullaby, so that might have been a misplay, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, he's got the Wiggly, which could potentially... Oh, well, I guess that's, that works sort of, kind of, but... <laughs> he kind of needs more bench Pokémon. Uh, don't I need three energy? Yeah, for the Rainbow Powder. Might as well get that set up, and continue nibbling. I'll be able to knock it out with anything from Venomoth on next turn, so we should be good. Unless, unless he decides to switch, which he didn't. <laughs> uh, but I think he's just like, eh, I, I realize I may have messed up with that Wiggly, so we should probably just let it go. And it doesn't matter what I get, really. It's gonna do 20 damage either way, it was just kind of the coin flip for the sake of the coin flip. And there is our prize card. A uh, Jinx is up next. Hey, wait, isn't that... Couldn't that be a problem to the Venomoth? Isn't it weak to Psychic? Wait a second. Wait a sec... Oh wait, no, that's not. So it's not... Wait, what? Is it weak to Fire then? Wait, wait, what, what, why did I press up? Yeah, it's weak to Fire. Okay, why do I think it was weak to... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I should get something set up on the side there, and... Uh, I don't really have much of a choice, do I? I, mean, I could just do that, because <laughs> it could still bite either way. But, as of right now, I'm kind of lacking in the energy, so... Rainbow Powder, come on, heads! Oh, well, I guess that'll still work. I mean, it'll continually do damage. Uh, but, I was hoping for heads, because... He doesn't have any bench Pokémon, and if he doesn't get bench Pokémon... Okay, there we go! <laughs> I was gonna say, I might have to re-battle him again, and yeah, yeah. Anyway, double slap. It's a head, of course, and it's a tail, of course, and yeah, it's an average of 20, <laughs> basically, as I was meaning to say with the of courses. So... I guess probably Raticate, because of its psychic resistance. Uh, even if I don't have energy, now I have energy, I was gonna say, even if I don't have energy, 
I can still stall out the Jinx, and then I can get energy for the Scyther or something like that, but that will just be a flat-out knockout for the Jinx because of the poison. So yeah, Robert doesn't really have the best of decks, as you can tell, so... I mean, you try putting me to sleep and Dream Eater for possibly 25% chance. Not that term. <laughs> Um, I could, I was gonna say, I, I could Super Fang if I had enough energy, but eh, eh, we're fine with the bites, it'll take three turns, but yeah, Robert's deck isn't one of the best, <laughs> so, as you can see, he's got this version of Haunter instead of, like, the Fossil Haunter or Extended Series Haunter, so it's not like he's gonna be doing a lot of damage, look at that, I can now Super Fang if I want, <laughs> it's a little bit too late for that, but I'll just bite for now and save that double cut list for when I need it. I don't know if I should just plop it on Scyther ahead of time, or maybe eradicate for a future Super Fang or something like that. Please don't wake up! Okay, thank you. So I was gonna say that at least I have an excuse to let you live for another turn. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, what up? Isn't Venonat? Yeah, it has colorless. But doesn't Venomoth have more specific... Yeah, I think that would be a waste of a double colorless if I plopped it on the Venonat. Hmm. 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 Although it could get me a little bit ahead. I don't know, I'll think about it. I'll just kind of see if I wake up. Oh, I didn't! Oh, man! Actually be able to do 20 damage with the Haunter in a rare... Extremely rare case, actually. Assuming he's got the... Oh, he's not even going to put it on the Haunter. Oh, wait, oh! Oh, that's right, Dream Eater is 2 for 50, because of the rare chance of it actually working. That's why it's such a cheap attack. I always think 50s are 3, as per that sort of pattern, because, you know, the, the whole energy curve, I guess you could say, for the damage output and stuff like that. It's usually 40 or 50 for 3, somewhere around in that range, and higher is 4, and yeah, anyway. I uh, guess I'll plop Scyther, and... Give that Scyther the double colorless can attack, so we're done. And we wake! So, uh, the Haunter is kind of teetering on the edge of defeat. But chances are I'm going to get a head flip on my turn eventually, so let's see. There it is. <laughs> That's why you don't want to use that Haunter. I mean, yeah! 25% chance you'll be able to get that nice, cheap Dream Eater off. <laughs> Good luck with that! <laughs> I mean, yeah, you did get the uh, two he uh, head flips on the other Jinx, so, I, you know, it it's possible to get two of the same coin flips in a row, but I wouldn't count on it! <laughs> so there's our bites, and his next fight is the Ghastly, which can do zero damage. I, I was actually thinking he was going to do Destiny Bond, in case I have plus power or something like that. Uh, well... Well, I do have plus power, as you know. <laughs> so that is what we call a game. <laughs> so yeah, is, is that... I mean, it, it, it can bring out some heavy hitters in some aspects, but he just doesn't seem to be able to get up to that point, because he doesn't have the deck speed. If he does manage to, he'll probably get a few knockouts, but... I, I, I don't know, I, maybe he'll get a few knockouts. I was going pretty easy on him. <laughs> when I think about your power, I guess it only makes sense I lost. Assault booster back. Let's see what we get. Mega coin flip nine tails. Uh, that was a, the only rare, but anyway, I mean, well, yeah, there's only ever one rare in the pack, but I mean, that's the rare of the pack. I may not be able to win, but I'd like to battle against you again. Maybe later, and maybe later. But for now, let's go over here to Daniel. Pardon me, listen, man. You know what? Murray's finally got his self-respect back. He lost it after that fiasco at Team GR. You remember. And now Ray's heart and soul are back into his playing style. Yeah! He's inspired us all. Come on, I'm inspired to fight now. No. Oh. If you're not interested, I don't mind at all. I'm in a deck of cool psychic Pokemon, just like Murray. 
I also use it to challenge quite a lot of different people. Would you like to battle me and see my awesome deck in action? Yes, I would now. I've changed my mind. Four prize cards. Try your best to claim them all. Oh, I will. It's the Puppeteer deck. Let's go, go with the Stringos or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we got a sort of kind of similar opening here, except instead of Venom, it's Bulbasaur. The same amount of HP and everything. Uh, I guess we'll try the same output then. <laughs> Let's just do the Rattata, because it's got the quick 20 beatdown, and well, mm -hmm. also Psychic Resistance. That's pretty nice, too! <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could try the Pound if you wanted to, but that's not going to get him anywhere. Um, Confuse Ray may cause issues to Rattata. Oh, and he doesn't have Bench Pokémon. Uh, well, anyway, I'm just going to bite anyway, so... <laughs> I just said anyway twice there, but whatever, we'll be okay. It <laughs> oh, 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 there's the Puppeteer! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's, it's the Clefairy Doll deck that I mentioned that you could do before. Uh, he kind of doesn't have uh, Clefairy Doll right now, and he also maybe shouldn't have evolved that. Maybe not. Because, <laughs> yeah, he can't even do... Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Don't apply weakness and resistance. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, I thought it was three energy for that, because of its nice effect, but hold- wait off, oh, wait a second. Why didn't he use that on the Rattata? Is he going easy on me? <laughs> anyway, I'll pop that there. Put this on the Bulbasaur to get things all set up. Um, let's assume that he is actually going to use that attack and... I don't know, was, was I missing something there? Anyway. <laughs> Let's go Professor Oak into a fresh hand and see what we get out of it. Maybe we can get a Eradicate. We cannot. Get a nice cycle energy though. And... Alright, bye. So yeah, in theory, he should use that. I mean, not that it would have much made a difference to the outcome of this game, but he should... Yeah, it's like the AI doesn't recognize that it ignores weakness and resistance. Um... Well then... <laughs> uh, um... Uh, I don't know what I should do about that thing, because he can't use his deck to his fullest then if he's not set up for that, and this is going to do zero damage. I'm just doing that for the fun of it. So yeah... <laughs> oh man, he's got the defenders out the wazoo. Uh, if I had something else powered up, I could get through that. I mean, yeah, I have the Bulbasaur to Razor Leaf, but I mean, it's it's still a two-turner, so... Might as well just wait. I might as well power something else up, like, say, the Scyther. Uh, actually... Just out of curiosity... If I... You put out Scyther, will he use the Mind Shock? <laughs> just out of curi- Okay, he will! <laughs> So yeah, the AI, I guess, just doesn't recognize colorless Pokémon. But yeah, I, I, as I said, I had this game won anyway, just in general, so... Even if he quote-unquote took it easy on me in the early time, it still didn't make much of a difference, because I had the Bulbasaur as backup to start chipping away pretty quickly, so... I think we should give him, give him another duel. <laughs> Yikes! Guess it doesn't hold up as well as I thought. Well, you gotta use, you gotta read your cards, man. <laughs> uh, Weezing is our rare. It's got the poison that misses us, us but us, it may not work us anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, thank you. I understand my limitations now. See you later, and have my best regards. And uh, same dialogue. All right. Let's see if he plays better this time. I don't expect the AI to recognize the no weakness and resistance effect thing in general, so maybe I shouldn't use colorless Pokemon because you'll just confuse them. But I don't know what I'll, I'll end up drawing. And I always have colorless Pokemon in the deck just in general because of their versatility. They're a nice splashable critter, basically, because you can put them in any deck. Anyway, Daniel! 
Use your cards! Okay, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have colorless this time. Uh, I wonder if I should actually trade for another basic Pokémon in general, because I don't have any basic Pokémon. We'll see how the game turns out here. Got Recycle Energy. Let's plop that on Venonat and try the Spun... Spun Spore! Stun Spore! And he's got no bench Pokémon himself, so... Is this second duel... moot? <laughs> I don't know, it could very well be. Uh, wait, what's Venonat's weakness? Okay, it's still weak, weak to fire, not... okay. Uh, I'm gonna plop that on there. Nice. Can I use the Tornado Gust if I don't have... Okay, it's an if scenario. Okay, so I can and probably should evolve into Venomoth then. And... I also probably should Energy Removal and Tornado Gust. So, if he doesn't have a basic Pokémon, I think I'm gonna have to replay him again. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's got... okay, he's got Defender. <laughs> that, oh, and plus power! That's a... It's an extra boost to that pound attack. Dude, 20 instead of 10. Oh, and Professor Oak. Well, that's, that's game over right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might as well just Professor Oak. Just for the sake of Professor Oaking. And... Bill? Oh, maybe I should have put that Recycle Energy on Venomoth. Well, too late now. <laughs> on that Venomoth. But anyway, let's plop that out there, and... Yeah, Rainbow Powder. And... Um, well... <laughs> That's the poison. <laughs> it's just gonna get through to defend there, and if he doesn't have a basic Pokémon... That's game, and I'll have to play him a third time, I guess, and... <laughs> <laughs> and that's game. Doesn't matter what he flips. Because I've got the poisons on him, and that puts them to zeros. I don't know why I keep stressing the S's with the Z's this part, but anyway. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, let's see what we get. At the very least, we'll get a bunch of boosters. Ooh, the sparkly jungle Pidgeot. Two for 20. Iffy, of course, because you know you can do better than that. But the hurricane, uh, it's kind of like that uh, Gengar, or can, Dark Gengar, where it can pop stuff back to the hand. Kind of messes you up, although Dark Gengar is kind of worse because it goes back to the deck. Anyway. <laughs> and that's about that. Thank you. Uh, no, 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 you're welcome. <laughs> Last chance, man. <laughs> I really, truly hope his deck works out for him this time. Alright, no colorless. That's a good sign, so I don't have to worry about any AI mishaps. <laughs> Although I got Scyther, which is death to all. Oh no, he's got, <laughs> he's got the same lo loadout! Oh no! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna start going with the bill. I'm probably gonna get some basic Pokémon out of four cards up at this, so... Let's kind of start with them first. Rattata. Oh, that's a nice backup, I suppose. I probably shouldn't use that against Hypno, otherwise he'll be all confused. And the Scyther with Swords Dance. Voila! And the Confuser will be the best move. Oh, okay, not. <laughs> that, that's probably the better move, actually, because of that. Well, I guess it's. But wait a second, if I get double colorless energy, I automatically win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We're, we're still... We're, he's still hanging on here. Um... I should actually probably... Like, I, You know, he's just... He's forcing me to use a colorless Pokémon against him, because... If I don't retreat, I'm gonna be knocked out. If I do retreat, he's just not gonna use the attack correctly. Right? But yeah, I'm gonna end up with Rattata either way. <laughs> I don't know, it's like a, a checkmate of myself to make the proper move against the AI. <laughs> oh, Gust of Wind. <laughs> it's like, hey, I, I recognize I can't knock out that Rattata even though I should be able to. <laughs> anyway, so that, that was also kind of a waste of card. That I, don't, I don't know, it's just not... <laughs> this is not how the deck should be played, let me tell you. So yeah, normally he would be able to win this. 
Uh, but just got kind of a... Although, I, I was just going to say, I got kind of a weird start, but I do have Pokemon Trader uh, to do stuff with. So, like, if I were to go Venomoth into Venonat and power that bad boy up on the side... But yeah, I'm, well, actually, then maybe he wouldn't have been able to win, huh? <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to bite. So, this would be the point that he would have to knock out my Rattata. I mean, you know, like normally he would knock out my Rattata, and then I would have to switch over to the Venonat. So let's say that happened, and my Rattata is out of commission. Like, you're, we're not seeing that Rattata again for the rest of the game. How about that? <laughs> this, is a, this is a play it fair. <laughs> uh, I don't want to Professor Oak my plus power away, but... I'll Tornado Gust. And there's the Drowsy. And, oh, oh, that's right, I have to... Well, I guess, I, I guess I'll have to see the Rattata again. <laughs> but still! But still. <laughs> oh, oh, it wouldn't have mattered any... <laughs> this is gonna be kind of stuck there in gen Yeah. Okay, so wait, no, wait, wait, wait. So if... So Venomoth would have been taking... 30 HP of damage, right? So let's let's say that Venomoth. Ha Oops. Um, actually, maybe I shouldn't have did that. I was gonna say let's say Venomoth would have taken that that 30 HP of damage. We're gonna do Tornado Gusts, and we're gonna swap to the Bulbasaur. So yeah, we're gonna say Venomoth, Venomoth is at 30, just just for the sake of experimentation here. We're just kind of making up damage counters in our mind here, and then. Mind shock happens to the Bulbasaur. That will allow me. To, well, actually, hold on a sec. Couldn't I just win any? <laughs> like, if I get a. Uh, okay, let's just dump everything out of my hand here. Let's just go ahead and Professor Oak. Because yeah, if I get the energy plus the Razor Leaf, it still really will not matter. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying my best to help him out here, but it's still. And it's still. <laughs> so yeah, in place of that Rattata taking damage, it would have been Venomoth. But he would, yeah, it still would have been a loss for him. I I give up. <laughs> oh jeez, flight boost pack again, of course. See what we get another Pidgeot. Uh, all right, you're welcome. <laughs> Please work on your deck and also read your cards. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when maybe we'll duel some opponents that have more stable and a that, like an AI that reads the cars, as I keep saying. <laughs>